Welcome back to Adhamaya, myself Praveen Ramamurthy doing third year MBBS at Dawa Medical Schools of Foundation. In this video, I am going to explain you about uh, the main question that I am getting in my comment section that can we study MBBS abroad, year after can we study MBBS abroad as per new NMC update. So let's go into the video. Before going to the video, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment. Okay. First, First, you should clear NEET UG examination in India. After your 12th examination, you have to give NEET UG and you should clear that examination. Clearing means you should pass that examination. After passing that examination, you can study MBBS in abroad, which is recognized by MCI, that means Medical Council of India. So for example, in Philippines, there are 36 uh, colleges that was recognized by MCI. That, that, is, that means uh, they are following, uh, ex uh, not exact, it's like uh, approximately Indian medical system. And also some of the important norms they are following. So MCI will give permission that Indians can study in that college. That is the meaning of MCA approved colleges. So after studying the MC, you are doing your studies in MC approved colleges in abroad, you can uh, give FLG examination. Before that, the duration of your course that is do, during uh, doing MBBS in abroad should be 5.5 to 6 years. So if it below 5.5, that means it's not uh, valuable by the valid validated by MCA. So you should study minimum 5.5 to 6 years. Then uh, the duration I said about duration. After studying MBBS and abroad, you should give FMG examination. That means foreign medical graduate examination. So we all know that uh, it will be take place twice a year and the passing ratio is 10 to 15 percentage. So try to pass that examination first attempt so you can save uh, the duration years. Then after passing your FMG examination, the important thing that is updated by NMC is you should do internship in India, India, Indian hospitals for one year. So. After doing internship in India for one year, before they said that we should do internship for two to five, two to three years. But as of now, they updated that we can, we should do internship in one year if you're studying abroad. So I will, after doing the internship, so you can apply for uh, the eligibility certificate that you are a general physician. So again. I have to explain, I have to give a summary in a simple way. First, do need UG, pass need UG. After passing need UG, you should study MBBS abroad. Most importantly, MCA approved uh, abroad colleges. So duration should be that which you are studying in MBBS. That course duration should be 5.5 to 6 years, not below 5.5 years. Okay. After during doing MBBS in abroad, you should come to India and do FMGE. You should clear FMGE. After clearing FMGE, you should do intensive intensive in Indian hospital India for one year. So after doing intensive for one year, you can you can uh, do your service in India as a general physician. So the total duration that you are going to do it for this undergraduate MBBS courses, if you are studying ab abroad is 8.5 years. If you pass in first attempt, if you are passing SMG in first attempt. So if you are uh, taking time that you are attempting second attempt, it may take uh, 9 years or 9.5 years, De depends upon your uh, FMG passing date. Okay, 
I hope so this video will be helpful for you. So once again, if you are already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment. Thank you.